How goes everybody? I'm Kujo and welcome back to Sloppy Dog Gaming. So we are back in uh, Seopolis 2. And as you can see, we have expanded a wee bit. We, we pushed out a little bit here uh, with some oak. We've been grinding and grinding and grinding. We got some pebbles in there. Look at our freaking rock and stuff chest. I think we have enough stuff to do what I want to do here. So also we built out a little thing over here um, under the ship. We made a little tunnel in. And apparently friggin' penguins are spawning here. I still only have a wooden sword. Uh, but we'll get rid of them when we need to. We're gonna make this into a... Uh, what's it called? A mob farm. We're gonna make a mob farm out here. There has been some weird lighting updates. Like, I cleared all these out. And I have to, like, place a block where I had the torch uh, to get it to go dark. Because <laughs> it was still, like, putting some light out for some reason. Uh, but we'll get that taken care of. So, in order to do this, we need to grab all of this dark stone and all the dark stone we can make these blank plates so that's 42 okay so that looks like a lot of dark plates but it's really not so let me go count how many of these we need i think i calculated it out before but i forget what it was so we need 16 times 7 which is 112 vector plates we need to make so we're going to go down this, the hostile mobs deal here. We made blank plates. It's going to give us some some B-Bucks. And we need to get these vector plates. I'm probably going to start with these ones. And we'll upgrade them to these as we can. Uh, but to start, we're just going to start out with a regular vector plate. And then we'll go through and up, update stuff just for quests only. So we need 112 vector plates, which are like this. And I think we're going to have plenty enough because we'll just make two stacks of this. And that's plenty enough to get our place completely covered. I want to do some tinted gla glass, but in order to do that, we need to find a, what's it called? The geode. So we're just going to place these all along here. As long as we're shifted, the vector plates will not affect us. <laughs> See how the penguin just kind of slides along his way? Just has a super good time. We don't need him to be super fast. That's why we're just going to use these for now. We'll make a more sophisticated mob farm later. There we go. So all of us push everything to our little door here. And let's have pop back over to the crafting table. And we'll quest, get all of our stuff up to the quests. So we need three of these. I thought three of those made the second tier, which is, oh, and we need rotten flesh. So we're going to have to wait until we get into that a little bit. Damage plates are, we just need a stone sword. We can do that. clear our vector plates off I would like to get a main plate also which is three damage plates so we're gonna need three swords so let's get a little bit more cobble I think that's plenty because maim doesn't kill them and we're gonna need a wool so if we hop in here and damage plate let's make three of these swords and then we'll make three damage plates. Actually, we only needed <laughs> two swords. But hey, look, we can get rid of our, our friggin' wooden sword now. So there's a damage plate, right? Now to get a main plate, we need a block of wool. Or just wool, I guess it's called. And we get a main plate. So this, if we place this down, will hurt things. But not kill them. So then we can get the player kill from it. See? Oh, and it does hurt me. Does hurt me also. <laughs> so we might take these out for a second. And we're going to have to darken that room up. 
So once we get the zombie flesh, then we can start going up the tiers, right? And then we need bones. And then we need gunpowder. So we're going to have to do some AFKing. Also, you see this armor? We're going to make this. Maybe not today. Possibly today. Most likely another day. We got some more B-Bucks. Player damage plate. I also wanted to make this, but we need either the warp fungus and a player head and a diamond sword, which we don't have, or we need the ultra vector plates in order to do. Because then they'll do it as player kills, and it's, this thing will be automatic, and we won't even have to come over here. We can just put an item collector out, and it'll collect up all the things. Um, so let's go in and knock out our torches. We have a block to get rid of the lighting updates if we need to. See, it doesn't look like it's getting as dark as it should be. See, there's like a lighting update in the corner here somewhere. Need to bring some wood or get some more blocks of the same kind. So I can just vein mine them out. Fire got real loud for some for a reason for a second. So now So he can't get through. So that's our first gunpowder. So is it here? There we go. I don't know why it was right there. So that's all dark. I think everything is dark over here because they're all red squares. If we come back through here, block up this wall, and I think that's blocking enough light out for everything. Just patch this up with the concrete. So if I... Okay, no, it's still going to hurt me if I do that. Um, Do we have another white? I put the white one down, didn't I? Let's put the purple one down. And then we can put a white here and a white here. And then we should be able to get mobs to spawn in here. So if we come out here, come away from it, let's see if any red dots appear on our deal. Yes, there it goes. It's moving in. It's going to get injured. So it's not going to be super fast, but it is going to work. And it's going to help us get through our quest for this first chapter here. Because we can, we already got this. We can get that B-Bucks. We just need these. And then we'll need the mob drops from them to get the other tiers. We can get that. So I'm going to sit and uh, kill some things in the mob farm. And then I'll be right back with you guys. So this uh, mob farm is working pretty good. We got a bunch of stuff. And I haven't been doing too much with it. We probably could have more stuff. But... Oh, we got like loot, bo loot boxes. I wonder what those give us. So these actually give us... Like I've, I've opened a couple of these. There's a solar crack cooker. And a reflector. So apparently we can cook food in them. I don't know what else we can get from them. Oh, we got uh, like an inferium apple. Mini charcoal. Those we can get rid of. Like these we don't really need right now. We are going to do some stuff with them. But what I wanted to do... Oh, we're full. I keep running this over here because we needed to collect up a bunch of stones and stuff. Um, but I want to go through and collect up some of these. Cooked apples, 16. We need some of those. Do we have any? Oh, we have 13 apples. We do have the leaves. We can. I've been doing trees, but I've only been doing... Let's, let's collect what we can and get some stuff out of our inventory. So if we click submit. There we go. It's kind of bummy that we only get a freaking one thing. Logs, we don't have anything. Pebbles, I think we have right now. I think we have enough for this. Uh, rotten flesh, do we have enough for that? Yes, we do. I just want to get this because I want in here we get a reward. We get an infinity wand, which regularly ends a mob imprisonment charms, which regularly 
we would need to get another star in order to get. Uh, bone, submit. And then we just need the cooked apple and the logs. We've got plenty of logs, as you can see. We've been doing a lot of things. Um, logs we can get. There we go. We just need our cooked apples, and then we'll be good. That's not where that goes. I'm gonna have to chop down a couple more trees or get get some crooks going. Actually, what I should do are oak saplings. We only have four left because we've been. Jeez, we have so many freaking pebbles that we're full. We're full over here. Um, we should probably add another chest onto this. wonder if we can go like this. No, that's not going to help. That's not going to help. Let's just get a double chest. Put that for there. There for now. There we go. That'll pick up the rest of that stuff. Give us a little bit of time to do what we need to do. It's almost full already again. It's still run. We've ran a lot of stuff. Um, We need some sticks to get some crooks going. Let's do like... Three crooks worth of stuff. And hopefully that'll get us all the apples we need. That's probably enough right there. Let's get it chucked into the furnace before we start wasting fuel. I don't think that was enough. We only got one. That was a bummer. That should be enough to get 16, I believe. Let's sleep real quick, too. Okay, sleeping's done. It's daytime now. I think we can chuck these in here. And that'll get us 16. We should have enough fuel. One, I think, should do eight. Plus, we already have some in our inventory. Let's chuck our leftover leaves into here so we can make some more dirt. We always got to be cycling the dirt through. Apparently, we need to clean this out because it's extremely backed up. 16, there we go. Last thing, let's submit this guy. Got it. And now we should be able to get all of our rewards. What was the charm for? Sleep charm. Wards off the effects of insomnia. I mean, we might as well chug her on us. Chapter 1, quest complete. Look at that. Well, we're not done with our hostile mobs. I, we are going to get through this right now before we move on to the pottery and getting uh, resource generator type things going. Uh, so... I think I'm probably going to need more deals. Because if we want the ultra, it's gunpowder, right? We need three extreme. We need the fast. Let's grab our vector plates that we have made, which we put in here conveniently. So fast. Let's do that. We can make 12 of them. That's a quest. It's not actually going to take us as much as we need. As much as I thought we would need. There we go. So that's more quests done. Back in the hostile mobs. I thought it was going to be more difficult than that. But now we can do the player damage plate. Which we're going to need three swords. Did we put our other swords that we made in here? We have so much crap in our inventory right now. I didn't need to make this many. I kind of I kind of went overboard. We have frogs. Oh, there's frogs in here. I didn't even notice that. We just need some cobbles. For trace swords. N not a chest. I just want to fully complete this deal, you know? I don't know if we'll be able to do that right now, but... So, and then we get... Did I not save it? Oh, I did save it. Player damage. We need three main plates, which we have two of. Which we might as well make a fresh batch of them. Main plate's going to be a sword. Three of the damage plates. Three of the damage plates. We're going to need one more sword. So, we're going to need two more swords total, I believe. And we're going to need some wool. Let's do three damage plates. We're missing our friggin' deals because I just took them out of our pocket, of course. Damage plate. Main plate. Player damage. 
Boom. Let's go kill what all the stuff that's in there. There's probably a lot right now. You can hear it taking damage. Let's wait for it to get a little quieter on the damage side. So I had to move the item collector and everything to put it here so it would reach everything. That witch. I think there's another spider in here somewhere. You just hanging out in the corner, spider? You're dead now. You're dead to me, spider. So if we pick this up, we should be able to plop our... I probably could have picked it up instead of make... Oh, I hate doing that. So that's a player damage play, right? Ooh, that hurts. That did not feel good. So now if we go away, it should continue. Uh, before, before, before we do that, do we have enough room in our inventory to clean all this crap out? It's going to get clogged up. We're going to have to keep an eye on it. We're going to need to get simple storage up and running real quick here. To sort out all of our business. <laughs> we got to get iron going also. So we can get like iron chests running. I'm just dumping every... Oh, I want these. I want to put them in our wallet. I'm just dumping everything out of the chest into... I just want to make sure it's collecting stuff correctly. It's going to get full. It's definitely, definitely going to get full. Might as well open these guys. Create more inventory issues. Um, we got a copper chest, solar cooker, and some egg. Decent, uh, those deals. And some dirt. Might as well freaking run that, right? Might as well run that. Alright, so I think that's good for now, right? What else do we need in here? Oh, we just need to check a box. More plates and mob filters. Unlocked in the shop. We got more bucks. We can now put our bucks in our pocket. Let's take a look at the store real quick. We haven't looked at the store too much, really. That's the wrong button. Here we go. Shopping spree. So we unlocked more plates and stuff. Um, I don't see anything else on here. So I looked, and these don't appear to be craftable. So anything we want to do with this, the drawer key is craftable. But these, like the upgrades, storage upgrades, I didn't see them. Let's see. We'll do a quick thing right now. Oh, yeah. They are craftable. I just missed them. Okay. Sweet. So we don't have to buy them. So we can save our money. But we can buy luggage, which we're not going to do. Colored stone. I don't want to buy any colored stone. But we can buy elytra. We need to get... Oh, that's level 7. Level 7 we need to get to before we can get elytra. So that's down to... We need to get down to here. Through, like, mechanism and... Awakened essence and stuff. Um, but we are completely done with Survival 101. And we need to get into moving on. So I'm going to get some stuff. Uh, look, Kind of look ahead. See what we're going to need. Get some stuff crafted up so we're not sitting on camera for so long. And I'll be right back. Alright, so we kind of reworked some stuff real quick off camera. Um, I kind of want to keep this dock-ish. I may even take this part out. And just leave this as a dock going around here. Uh, maybe even take out this part because the dock doesn't usually curl around behind the boat. Uh, but we did some things. As you can see, the little room here is gone. Uh, we have reworked this. And we can't really see what we have going on in here yet. Because let me put some bottom slabs along here. So I have something to stand on at least in here. I think I have to get in by swimming. There we go. <laughs> we can get in. Because uh, we can't click on this. Because we're keeping it dark in here. Because we want to keep it dark in our mob farm. Which we may even have to do more. We may have to cover up the front of this. But. We're going to pipe this out. We're going to make a drawer wall over there. Somewhere. But I want to sneak in here real quick. Just to see what we got chilling in here. There's not too much. We might as well clear it out while we're here. We can replace this guy. And I can't see in there to tell 
what's going on. Let's crouch so we can get out and then we can swim back. Um, yeah, like I said, I want this kind of look like a water worldy type place. If you've seen the old water world movie, um, we're going to kind of dress it up like that. So somewhere over here, maybe we'll make a platform over here and make it kind of water worldy theme eventually once we get all of our operations up and running and we have available blocks to do that kind of stuff with. But yeah, I think I'm going to take this out. I don't want this here anymore. I have lost interest in our little stairs. We have a way to get up to the boat on the back. Once I get that out, I should be able to vein mine. 64 blocks. Oh, it's still connecting because of this one. Because it's still on the same block. Because they're slabs. And I may even, like, pull this back a block. So it's not right against there. There, 27 blocks. That sounds more right. And our stairs are gone. If we want to get on the boat, we come back here. We hop up. And that's it. So I want to see if things are spawning in here. And then we're going to get to making a drawer wall. So I don't see anything spawning. So I'm wondering if we're having light level issues. I wonder if we should cap this off somehow. If we just place a block. Like that. That should block all the light out. But even the back should have been dark without that. I still don't see anything spawn. Let's take a look inside. And let's see what's going on in here. Also, I did lower it down a step too. So we're actually down a level here. We hop on that. Ow. Ow, ow. And our first death. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I wanted to get those blocks on our hot bar. We're going to have to do that from outside. We got some kind of orb. Let's hop out of here, get our blocks we want on, the blo on our hot bar, and then we can look at light levels and see if we're having some phantom light in here. Yeah, I used our thing to coat the bottom. And then... Um, yeah, everything's dark. I mean, it looks like light's coming through there, but it's not. So it should be spawning. So that should be good. We should be good there. We should be all right. We should be able to leave it. Just set it and forget it, as they say in the infomercials, right? So I'm going to get building a little bit of a platform type thing. And uh, get a wall drawer, drawer wall filled up and get rid of... There's two different mapping systems in this, in this deal. And I'm not... I may have to deactivate one. Because there's this map, which is journey map. And then there's also this match, which it, map, which is... I don't know if it's an FTB map or if it's, uh, what is it, zeros or something like that map. I don't like having two different maps. I, I like the the map for um, journey map, the mini map. Okay, there we go. Somebody got in there and they died. Good. All right, drawer wall time. We are back. All right, so in order to properly organize our drawer wall, we need to get a key. To get a key, we need gold. We have one gold ingot we found from the big boat. But I just saw a, what's it called? This, this thing. We need to get down here as quick as we can. We need to go get oxygen. So we can use these. If we hold shift, it doesn't hurt us. We can get air out of. Oh, we can't even use this pick. Maybe we'll get extremely lucky. And we'll have a good pick in here. <laughs> I doubt it. No, but we did get gold nuggets. Enough for what we need. And we got some obsidian. Alright, so we couldn't get the block of gold, but we got what we needed. Ow. Ow. This went... So now we can go back to the house and make our key. I was trying to find another big boat, but we didn't find any, and I came across that. I didn't even go that far if you take a look at the map. We are just out here. There's like a little, a couple little boats, but none of the big boats like these ones. That's where I found it last time. 
Which way is home? All right, so how we're going to organize this here, this is our wall, our wall of stuff. So I'm going to lock these all. They should all be locked because they should all be in re within range of this. So nothing is going to go in here. We need to make a bunch of item pipe, which is going to take a bunch of flint. Let's grab some flint. We have chests in our pocket right now. Or they were in there, I guess. Sixteen is not much. We may have to get some more flint. Do we have more item pipes around? We have a couple. I don't think that's going to be enough to get us to where we need to go. But what I'm saying we're going to do here. So I'm going to set up a catch over this way. So first we're going to... Go into that. Then we'll come into here. And then I am also made a trash can. We can go into that. So we'll have our, our thing set on nearest first. So it'll try to put it in here. If it can't put it in here, it will then put it into the the uh, chest. If it can't put it in the chest, then we'll put it in the trash can. So everything that goes in the chest, we'll start sorting into our wall here. And get it running and get a spot for it. Let's see if we have enough pipe here. So we are getting a lot of stuff. You can see what's in there. Alrighty, so there's an ender pearl. So sometimes the endermen kind of teleport off. So if we start bringing this down, where's our, do we have our wrench? We don't have our wrench with us. Will the key work? Why is it doing that? I'm not holding shift. All right, I don't know what happened there, but something happened. Um, I doubt this will work like a wrench. No, it won't. We gotta grab our wrench. But while we're doing that, we can run our pipe, right? So we can come down. I want to come as close to the bottom as we can. Without wasting things. And dying. I would prefer not to die. So we want to bring it straight back along this one. I need to not drown. We are not going to have enough pipes, so we're going to have to get some more uh, gravel going. Which is pretty easy. So now that we have our wand, uh, breaking down some cobble is extremely easy. The biggest issue we're going to have is durability on our hammers. Then we can just hop this, hop this, throw this into our chest. You now get all of our gravel going. All right, so we have all of our pipes laid down here. Um, I also put all of our stone variants that we get from uh, sieving, and also I think this is dust. We need to get some sand and uh, do. Did I put gravel in here? Yes, I did put some gravel in there, so we know where that it goes. Um, we need to get our wrench, which was the whole purpose of leaving, and to make more pipes. Um, this is no longer running through. I don't think we still have a bunch of flint. So we're doing okay, but we're going to need to make another item collector because I want to move our plants and stuff. Um, where is our wrench? If I was a wrench, where would I have been put? Here we go. So we got our wrench. Ooh, I want to grab our upgrade because we want to do it fast. The ultimate type. So obviously, we're not decorated here yet. So if we pipe this and throw our upgrade and we want nearest first distribution, we should be able to, everything right now should be going into that chest. And then we can find spots for it from there. So let's get, how do I get obsidian? Did I not find a spot for you? Okay, so we want spots for these. Everything here. Is all good. The drums, the bows, all of that we do not want spot for. So 
So we'll just pop a bunch of these in here. When we get empty on our hotbar, we can go like that, which will then fill up the rest of the things. Strings, those. Our pocket should be empty. I don't know why we have a bow. We need to get an obsidian spot. Thought I grabbed a spot for that earlier. So the bows and everything. Eventually, we're going to take this connection out and just have stuff run into the trash. So we should only get, like, bows and musical instruments now in here. Some loot bags we need spot for. And carrots. Did I not make a spot for a carrot? There we go. That should be good. That should be everything, right? Bo should be able to go in the trash. Musical instruments in the trash. There should be nothing in here that we want to keep. All of this should be able to trash. And we should only get those in here now. So we're going to let this run for a little bit and see how it's keeping up. Make sure we're not missing anything. And I'll be right back with you. So we're out on a quick adventure again. I need to find some more iron. Um, because how much did we get? We only got nine there. Okay. Um, I want to make a sink. To make a sink, we need iron and terracotta. So we're going to bust up this stuff. Harvest some terracotta from here. And then hopefully find, I just need three more iron ingots is all I need. We should have brought a better pick. Three iron ingots. It's getting dark. We didn't bring a bed. It could be scary. Uh, we'll see what happens. So we found it and we almost died. Uh, there is a golden apple here though. So that's a good thing. Um, we have two hearts left. Let's eat a golden apple and get some freaking health back. Um, first boat. We, we didn't even, again, we, we're getting kind of lucky with our stuff. We got, we didn't, we only made it this far. Found another big boat, and there was some gold and nine iron in there. Plus some fish and coal and stuff, but. And we'll just check these. I know there's nothing in them, but we'll check them anyways, and we'll head back home. And I want to get my sink going, because we got to get into some clay and terracotta-y type bits. So we'll start doing that. All right, be right back. I'm going the wrong direction, aren't I? Yes, yes I am. I need to go west. Here we go, and now we'll go home. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so we're going to make our bucket here. We still have nine things left over, which we may make another bucket. We may not. Um, I don't know if this is going to work for our sink because it wants regular terracotta. So we might need to get clay for that because it doesn't. I don't think we can like re-dye terracotta. I already put the other one, the purple ones back there. But let's just try if we look at the recipe. We need bucket in the middle, iron across the top. And then terracotta surrounding it. If we f can we force it through? No, we need regular terracotta. So we're going to need to get clay, which means dust. And, but we can get rid of our water set up here. That's, that's, that was the main thing I wanted to accomplish. We need to, there we go. We can get rid of campfire. Probably should just leave it up because we're going to need it in a minute anyways. Um, for making probably uh, lava, I would guess. So we have a little bit of clay, right? How much clay do we have? We can just break some and get clay balls. I believe this is our clay. We have three. Which is not enough for the thing. There we go. Clay ball quest complete. We can move on. We can make a terracotta and we can make some deals. Well, I'm going to have to go through and make a bunch of dust and just sit there with my bucket. But we'll go as far as we can on the quest at least until we need to get to that. So that gets us some more bricks and some more terracotta. You know what I'm going to do? With that terracotta we got, we're going to get our freaking sink. Right here. Get a sink that's unlimited water. We can just plop it right back here. We can put a pipe on. And we can pipe out to there. That should fill. 
we should be able to make unlimited clay with some item pipes and stuff um once we get the dust we don't have any dust automation going uh, we still have six more ingots i'm going to make another bucket just thinking ahead because i know we're going to need one for lava when we get making our resource generators and stuff so if we have the iron we might as well do it um what is the next quest a basic pot an elite botany pot. Oh, I didn't even realize there's tiers for botany pots now. So if we look at here, there's a botany pot, hopping botany pot, elite botany pot, ultra hopper botany pot, creative. You mean you make a creative one with an enchanted apple. If we find an enchanted apple, we get a block of netherite. And uh, we can make an ultra one, which is a nether star. Oh, geez, these are crazy. An elite hopping is ender pearl. We can do an elite. That would make things... Oh, we don't have the iron. We don't have the iron yet. Stay in our lane, Cujo. Um, let's just do a regular freaking botany pot, which is not... Well, I guess we could... I mean, we're going to make a purple one probably, right? We need to make a flower pot. And then the flower pot goes in here, and we can make a pink deal like that. And that should be a botany pot, right? Get the quest. Do we have any... No, we don't. We can make some, though. We're going to need more... Make more clay. You know what? I'm going to bust this down into balls. I probably should have did it that way in the original place. In the first place, so we can get some botany pots online, get our trees growing, get wood going, get all that stuff going. And we'll pipe it all into that deal. Won't that be amazing? So we can make 12 hoppers. We can make a hop, hopping botany pot. There's our hoppers. Quest completed. Now you're growing. Let's complete our things, which is probably a bunch of bee bucks. We probably have a bunch in our hand. Two. <laughs> we have two. Oh, because we got rewards for the other ones, right? That's right. So now we got to start going down this way. Porcelain clay, which is clay balls and dust. So I want to... Let's call that good for now. Because we're going to need to make porcelain buckets and stuff. Which means we're going to need three of these. Three of those is six. I didn't want to make that many, but we did make that many. So we got the porcelain clay means we need to make an unfired bucket we're probably gonna need a little bit more because we need eight for that so we're gonna need three plus eight is 11 total we got 12 we're overachievers so if we take these and that will be an unfired clay bucket and that will be an unfired crucible and we can then go and fire these things and we're going to get all the quests completed. There we go. One done. And a ceramic bucket done. Okay, we should probably remake our campfire that we broke. And we'll place it down just over here for now. With our crucible on top. Because I'm sure we can take probably... What do we have the most of? That's not cobble. Does dripstone? Can we put dripstone in for lava? No. <laughs> Good try, Cujo. But I'm sure we can probably put, like, granite in there, right? Yes, granite goes in. It's very slow. Do we have an Endyman's walking around over here somewhere? Trying to friggin' screw things up? We sure do. Where is he? So this is... Oh, he's a little guy. He's a little Enderman. Wow, he was really easy. So that's the only thing. We don't have like a ender inhibitor or anything like that. I looked in the pack and I didn't see anything. So if you know that, that there's a ender inhibitor deal, um, let me know. Because that would be amazing to keep them from teleporting all over the place. So we got a bunch more bee bucks. We need a ceramic crucible with lava in it. Which we know we're also going to need... Um, we have our iron buckets to be able to do the real things with. 
we don't need to be messing around. We got the irons because we went out, we quested and adventured and risked our lives and got down to like two hearts before we finally slayed the deals. There we go. Ceramic bucket complete. And it, did it give us a ceramic bucket also? Oh, yeah, it did. So we might as, uh, The only thing about this is I'm not, now stuck with these. Because we need to make resource generators. And I'm going to have to make two other buckets. Actually, no. You know what we can do? We can say, screw you. We're going to dump one of you out on the floor real quick. And scoop it up with the regular bucket. And then we can do our crafting. And now we're going to need water. So let's save these recipes. If we come in here, we have resource generator one. There we go. Resource generator one. Resource generator two. We need cobble. We can use other stuff for that, but okay, let's go get cobble. So I was looking into getting into simple storage, and it's it seems like it's a little ways off, unfortunately. Oh, was it actually that we needed this? So we'll get a bucket of water. We'll replace this with a regular bucket. Because we are smart. And we have resource generator two. Pottery chapter completed. Over the huge hurrah. What did we get? Bee bucks and Opalus utilities book. Sweet. I should probably read that so I know what's going on. But I'm not going to. Alright, so let's take a look at how these... Actually, I don't want to read the book. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to need the book for these. Because I have no clue how these work. Opalus Utilities. Alright, so I think we're going to stick with using the, the second tier one. Which, that's, it seems way better. Like, we may as well make a couple more of these real quick. And we'll get them making all kinds of stuff. Alright, so I have four of these made up. But I have space for... Eight of them so far. I'm waiting on some more lava to get made up. So if I'm understanding this correctly, we can take... So let's say we want to make cobble in this first guy, right? If we place cobble on top, it's going to make it a basic one. Right? And there's no GUI in this in the resource generator too. I believe the resource generator one does have a GUI where you put what you want to make up there and then it comes down. But you can't tear that one up. I need to make a pick so bad. Let's make an iron pick because we have three iron left over, right? And hopefully we'll be getting iron real quick. I put a block down by mistake. Let's pick this up. So when it turns blue, that means it's working. And so if we look in our book, we can tear it up by placing another block on top. So block of like copper or stuff. If we want to look at what it needs... Um, we can look at uses in here. And so there's no block there. This will be a block of tin, copper, bronze, or iron. And then the next tier is diamond, pink slime, netherite. And then it's silver, gold, nickel. I'm guessing this is a lower tier than this one. I think that should be the top tier, I'm guessing. So we are making cobble. We have 20 in there already. I want to pipe out from here with our item pipes and we're just going to go into this guy as we can i don't think we need to worry about making an upgrade for this because it's only going to be able to hold so much um just so we're automatically producing and i don't i don't wonder if there's any kind of tank we can make right now i really don't see anything that we can make there's not like a jumbo tank or anything like that or singularity tank that's just like glass and stuff. Everything's a bit more complicated. So we're going to just have to hold it in there for now until we get better. We need to get good. All right. I'm going to get our resources all done up here. Keep making these. And I'll be right back with you guys. All right. So I think that's everything we can produce with this. We got it going. It's running. It's not super amazingly fast. It's definitely not as fast as like sieving dirt to get cobble. 
but it's passive and as we tear it up it will become faster um but i think that's all the stones we can do for it so we're gonna leave those there i think this side we're gonna get our botany pots going and this is gonna kind of like be our storagey area i thought there was a creeper freaking sitting over here and it scared me to death all right so i think we have enough flint that we can start to upgrade our stuff over here um let me empty my pockets a little bit eventually i'll probably try to link that in if it's in within range of that it, i'll do it if not maybe i'll just put another controller down so when we have some kind of digital storage we can just access both and we don't have to worry about piping from these drawers to those drawers and have different stuff um how's our yeah we're four buckets of lava we're looking good so we should be able to shift well we can't do it because this is in our hand is that what the deal is shift right click these should all get into our inventory but they're probably actually all getting picked up by here and we should be able to undo that and hit uses on this by you and should be able to get nine of those and now we should get more stuff when we do gravel so let's grab a stack do we have a stack in here yet yes we do let's grab a stack of this we'll spread it out using our super amazing deal that we don't have on our hot bar because our hot bar is a mess we have a bow on there even though we don't have any arrows in our hand then we should be able to smack this let's see what kind of stuff we get out of sieving this all right well, let's let while that's running let's take a look at the organic matter so we need a poor transformation powder used to make organic matter um so it's dust uh, pebbles so we are still going to need pebbles is there a better way to get them than sieving dirt? Because making dirt is a pain in my rear end. No, we just need to sieve dirt. <sighs> but um, what we can do, we have a setup back here. And what we need to do is we need to put a hopping bonsai pot up here with some type of uh, organic material in it um we have carrots carrots can grow in those and do we have any dirt right now we don't can we make a dirt which one of these is the fullest to make a dirt or are they all even 375 they're all even there we go that'll give us a dirt and i think we can make a hoe Grab two of those. I think we have some sticks in our pocket, right? We don't. I was wrong. So if we make a hoe, we can do this two, one of two ways to make. Because uh, farmland goes a little bit faster. Um, let's grab our bonsai hopping pot over here. Pink hopper bonsai pot. We made it pink because why not? Um, grab our dirt. And we can do this in our inventory. Or we can do it inside the deal. So we just put our hoe on there. That gives us farmland. Farmland grows a little quicker. We should be able to put that in there. Put a carrot in there. And now it's going to produce carrots. And they're going to dump into those. We probably don't need this many bins. I was doing that for when I was doing a bunch of leaves. And that should take care of making some dirt. And then we'll probably automate a system to where it just pumps into a sieve. Into an auto clicker. And automatically clicks it into a sieve and then we just collect all the pebbles put them in some drawers and then we have drawer storage for our pebbles and we have uh automated pebbles i might work on that for a minute and i'll come right back all right so i forgot about this uh in order to get anything else we need to get into the poor transformation which is flint and dust dust we need to get from dust which means we need to i'm gonna break down a bunch of cobble into dust and we can sieve that to get a bunch of dust so that's what i'm gonna be doing because I, I was like oh cool we're gonna be getting into some iron i forgot that's not the way this works oh geez oh he's so fast oh he's spicy and we died <laughs> I teleported us oh why is he still angry why are you still angry why was he still angry Ah, 
got you now. Who's laughing? I can respawn. It's so loud. So loud. All right, so I got a little distracted off camera. We did some stuff. Uh, we built up. I had a clicker sitting here with this sieve. And this was collecting them up. I moved the sieve. The sieve was sitting here. I moved it out of the way. So it stopped clicking because our stone pebbles filled up. Um, and so they were spewing out all over the floor. But you can kind of see what gets the most pebbles, which is definitely stone. Um, I don't think we're going to need any more because as we sieve stuff, we still get stone pebbles as we sieve gravel and everything. Um, as we sieve dust, I don't know if we get them. Do we get them with dust? No, we just get dust with dust, so... So we're going to get that automated. Um, we got our wall done today. I think this is going to be the end of the episode uh, because it's, I think it's like almost an hour long. I keep trying to keep them shorter, but there's just so much I want to get done. Oh, and we got this. This is our automated dirt setup. This was feeding the clicker that was next to the this deal right here. But since that's happened, uh, we filled up that one thing. We just moved the dirt over here. So we're making an automatic flow of dirt um and everything so we have automatic dirt we can get rid of this probably because that's running um we may move this and clean it up i think i'm gonna move this whole setup actually we're gonna make a new platform over here off camera move all this stuff over there where we can get some lava i don't because I, I think putting lava down is faster actually coal i think is quicker so once we get into having some coal do we have coal coal block is like 40 times or something like that we have some tiny coal we might be able to make into some coal, but we need nine coal to make coal block. Um, we'll probably do some more adventuring off camera. Um, yeah, we got our mob farm up and running today. We got our wall built. We got uh, all of this with the... We got carrots and trees and everything lined up in them all. Botany potted in. I think they're all full because I don't see the trees popping. Everything's full. I AFK'd for a while here. These don't look like they're full. So those might be growing still. Because those are only 400 something. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. So if you made it to this point in the video, I truly appreciate you. You are super amazing. Oh, I dunked you underwater. Sorry about that. And uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you got something to say, say it down below. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.